Tonight, two teams begin a new journey, the beginning of the NBA regular season. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Ernie Johnson joined by my colleagues and my friends, oh, wow. my buds, yeah. Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Tonight, we'll be watching the Milwaukee Bucks playing against the Charlotte Hornets. And for Charlotte, this is a team they played pretty well against last season, going 3-1. They'll look to keep that edge tonight. And what a joy to behold opening night of a new NBA season. A fresh start for everybody, including us. Shaq, what are you looking forward to this year? Well, some of the almost teams that couldn't get over the hump last year, I'm interested in to see if they've taken that next step. It's always interesting to see the young players and how they develop during the offseason. Were you partying or were you practicing? Ooh, I like the party practice thing, the P or the P. But I'll tell you what, this is the time of optimism. When everyone says it's a fresh start at 0-0. We should all be in the mix, but that's not reality. But I like the op optimism right now. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, opening night, fresh start. You Have you lost weight? Yes, you look, I have. You look tremendous. Really have. Thank you, Ernie. Shaq, just a physical specimen. That's all I can say. Was that a low blow, Ernie? It was not, as a matter of fact. You look great. It's been a, I'm really, you know, it's, we had an off season, and, and here we are, and you look like you're in game shape. Because I'm really optimistic about the question. Oh, oh you thought big word, I thought big word. Optimism, optimistic. Ah, uh, don't matter. Still a big word. Okay. Uh, That'll wrap it up as we take you courtside. Thank you so much for joining us. You do. You, you look great. And yes, Ernie. I lost two pounds over the whole summer. <laughs> Yo, Mr. President. What's up, man? Just wanted to catch you before you debut to the nation. You like how I keep dropping those presidential references into the convo? I like that. I mean, you are a writer. <laughs> so, any quotes before the game? Uh, nah, not right now. All right, All right. laser focused. Yep. I'll jot that down. <laughs> Seriously, man. Good luck. Thanks, Jay. Yeah, I'll see you after the game. All right, I'll be here. I'll be watching. You better be. This is it, opening day. The regular season is set to begin, and we're thrilled to bring you all the live action right here on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan, joined by Chris Weber and Greg Anthony. David Aldridge is our sideline reporter. You can feel the energy here in the BMO Harris Bradley Center. The Bucks looking to please their fans in this Eastern Conference matchup. And this matchup with the Hornets, it's their first game of the NBA's regular season. They could only manage a single win in four tries against these guys last year. The game is the first of a three-game season series for these clubs, both looking to take round one. And nothing tips off a broadcast like getting the lowdown from the sidelines. And we've got David Aldridge there for that. David, good evening. Well, Hornets coach Steve Clifford is always pragmatic. He said, you look at what wins in this league and you see the best teams don't give up fast break points. Year in and year out, offensive rebounding is not a big factor. Guys, Clifford demands that his guards and small forwards get back after the release of a shot. And the Hornets have become one of the best teams in the league in transition defense. Thanks, David. He does give a little more leeway to MKG to go to the glass, though, as well he should. And so much anticipation. You know the fans are amped up for opening night. Well, not just the fans, baby. The players are, too. I mean, they worked over the summer so hard going into the lab, adding something new. This is the proving ground right here. Here we go. Yes. Tip-off goes to Charlotte. And a look at Now about two minutes gone here in the first quarter. Outside, Walker. Yeah, that one put him over the limit. I'm praying. So I that approve that careful in this play. He still has room to grow. So who knows just how good this guy can get. Well, one thing that everyone learned really fast is just how deadly Chris Kemba Walker is with the game on the line. Don't forget, he's done it at the college level in Connecticut. And 
now on a pro level. A big part of it is his ball handling, and he's so quick that he can get an open shot in a short amount of time, having a quick release and being cold-blooded. Helps out the time, too. All going up court. Here's Parker. And he gets that one to go off the front line. And that ties it up. And with Brez, you get it all. Outstanding passes to his guys who have cool looks at the basket. Hit by Zeller. Lamb with the ball. Now guarded by Middleton. Williams shot is off. The Bucks have gotten five of ten shots to drop in this game so far. Right at the 50% mark. Monroe with a screen on Walker. Brez passes to Monroe. And the bucket counts. He's on his way to the free throw line. Try to make it a three-point play. And he's starting to get what he wants here early and often. Nice move. Ooh, this could be an early sign of an explosive game for him. You have to keep your eye on him if you're the defense. It's Young on the wing. Fires from deep. Rebounded by Kaminsky. And with Kaminsky, you just have to be patient with that adjustment period to the NBA because of his unique skill set. Well, you should also be patient because very few seven-footers can do what he can do on offense. He has a good shot from the yard. He can pull up away from rim protect. He has a very soft touch on all of the shots. Their finest four at the free throw line tonight. Eight attempts, eight makes. And last season, as a team, they knocked down 79% of their free throws. So those are numbers you'll be happy with. That's good from Sessions on the assist from Batum. Sessions has got a second bucket tonight. Well, when Batum, Kevin, spots a wide-open teammate, he zips the rock to him quickly. Just exceptional. And just one point separating the teams. Parker and Monroe together inside. Filling out the wings, it's Middleton and Antetokounmpo. And it's Prince in at the point. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. Sessions. Defense is right there. That's going to be over and back. Not watching for the line that time. Got two minutes into the second quarter. Here's Monroe. It's good. Only a few seconds into the shot clock. Prez. Nice D from Williams. Oh, we've seen him posterize guys with that move many times. However, the defense proved to be very stifling. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Well, guys, the Charlotte Hornets made a concerted effort last season to improve what had been terrible three-point shooting. Coach Steve Clifford said, if you look at trends in this league, three-point shooting percentage was the number one factor of why teams won. That's the way this league is gone. It makes sense, right? Great spacing, which opens up things for everybody else. Kevin? Yeah, trying to slice the floor. Thank you, D.A. And the bucket counts, and he's on his way to the free throw line. Right. On to Kimbo, kicks to Prez. Can change shot, and on to Kimbo, lays it up and in. Done at the line, 10 for 12. Free throw, good. And so we wrap up the first half. Milwaukee on top. They're up by eight. Keep it up, guys. We have some good momentum. Listen up. We have these guys back on their heels. And now they're playing like they're desperate. Now stay focused, guys. Let's win this game and go home. Welcome back to the Great Lakes. We're back on the shores of Lake Michigan here in Milwaukee in the buildings in the background at Sunset in Wisconsin. A big group substitution here for Milwaukee. Miles Plumley's checked in for Park. Young comes in for Giannis under the Goombo. Franz is checked in for Chris Middleton. And Levins is subbed in for Michael Carter-Williams. And then for Charlotte, Roy Hibbert's checked in for Zelt. Kaminsky comes in for Williams. And it's Batum in for Jeremy Lamb. Setting the floor for the Hornets. Batum teams up with Kid Gilchrist on the perimeter. Roy Hibbert is out there with Kaminsky. And it's Walker in at the point guard position. Monroe with a screen on Batum. Here's Prez. And no good that time. Great tee that time from Hibbert. From deep. It's good from beyond the arc. And really, Batum just finds a way to knock down these clutch shots. His poise is simply incredible. And so it's the Bucks who come out on top here. 
They didn't make it easy on themselves or their fans. But in the end, everyone's satisfied. Yeah, I mean, there were some times that on, but let's give this group a lot of credit for that stick to itiveness in terms of finishing out and executing that game plan. And that about does it for the first game of the new NBA season. For Chris Weber, Greg Anthony, and David Alton, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you later. That's a good win, y'all. Good game out there, Jess. Let's go get another one. Ooh. All right, Prez, we got to talk shoes. Let's talk shoes. Yeah. All right, we've had preliminary conversations, mm -hmm. but now it's time to make a choice. You know, we got to figure out what we're going to do, where we're going to go. All right, so am I going to get my own shoe? Of course you're going to get your own shoe. I mean, you're the Prez. We'll get you like the presidential suite or something. <laughs> I don't know. I'd rather <laughs> weigh my options, see what's out there. Okay. All right. Hey, options are open. Just, you know, got to make a choice. You know what I was thinking about, man, was just going to social media. Once the options come in, see what we're working with, post it online. I'm the president, after all. Okay. Public servant. Got to see what the people want to do. Okay. Democracy. Constitution. I like that. I like that. You got a lot of momentum going right now, so we can use that as leverage, you know? We can use it as, like... Bruce, man, I'm lucky to even be on the team. All right? If it happens, hey, then... Hey, hey, hey. It's when it happens. Because it's happening. I mean, things are going on right now. Like, as we speak, it's happening. Like, as we sit here, right? It's boom. It's happening. Did you feel that? Because I felt something. What was that? My phone ringing? Because bam, it's happening. All right, it's happening. So, hey, show me the menu, show me some options, and we'll go from there. All right, all right. You're humble. I like that. I can sell that. So I'll go out, and I'll get all the details, and uh, I'll bring you back the best options. Sounds good. Hey, you know what sounds better? Pennies in the piggy bank. Am I right? Pennies in the piggy bank, Bigs, Bucks, Bruce. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man.